iOS 12 will bring some welcome features to the iPhone. And if you have an iPhone 10, this is what you have to look forward to. Hi, hello. Ooh, this is really creepy. Looking good, Slick. Oh, and her hair will move too as she, okay. This is pretty cute. Cheese. Memojis are the avatar version of Apple's Animojis, which use the 3D depth sensing front cameras on the 10 to track your facial features. Now keep in mind that this is just the developer's beta, so things may change, but in the meantime, here's your preview. You can access Memojis from the messages. You'll have to create your own and start from scratch, but after that, you can customize just about anything. Any variation of skin tone, different hairstyles, and you even have the option to brighten it up with some highlights. Then it's on to head shapes. You can choose based on your age and even add some fine lines if you want to go a little bit older. Next it's eye shape and you can determine any eye color in the color wheel. Apply some mascara to your lashes if you're into that and shape your brows. Nose options are surprisingly limited and then comes lip plumping and color. Ears come in three different sizes apparently, and you can even accessorize with matching earrings. There's sideburns, stashes, facial hair, some sweet rims, and top it all off with a hat. Or not. Not bad. Once your emoji is ready, you can send it as a picture or video message when you press record. You can do the eye roll, stick out your tongue, it's actually pretty great at tracking, even on this developer's version. If you click on the camera, you even have the option to send it as a photo, along with filters and effects. Just click on the star button on the left and pick a Memoji or Animoji or whatever it is that you want to send. Or you can replace your own face when making a FaceTime call and surprise mom. All right, so I used to be a Memoji skeptic, but I have to admit it's a little more fun than I expected. What do you guys think? Hit us up on the comment section below and check back for more iOS 12 updates on CNET.com.